Oh, I'm so sorry. Sitting in your baby chair? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. Sorry, it's Tuesday. I love your whatever is go going on with your camera. It's like I see, you know, like it's very nice. Oh, it's a uh, stream yard. That's for film. Very nice. Is yeah. that a feature on stream yard? How do I activate that? It's nice. It's in the camera mic thing. Is it? Yeah, hello everybody. Let me see here, Julie, Heather. Hello, now on beauty. Jasmine, Cindy. Oh, I like that. Eddie. Hello. Hello. Hi, June. Camille or Karen. Sorry you missed us. I know you're moving, so that's always so stressful. Who's Good moving? Luck. Karen is moving. I think oh. you are the right Karen, right, Karen? Hey, Lynn. Hi, yes, Lynn. I want to activate it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Help me out here. <laughs> okay. Guys, I need to activate. Uh... <laughs> this is like technical issue. Welcome, everybody. So um, today, I think mm -hmm. uh, we're wrapping up Valentine's Day today. What do you think? Are we pretty much... Well, I'm not decorating Valentine's Day. Well, you're not. Well, I'm in wrapping it up. Then Hans moved on and I'm... I'm wrapping it up. I, I completely, well, I guess you could use it for Valentine's Day. I mean, there is no, I mean, you could give flowers for Valentine's Day. I mean, there's nothing wrong Absolutely. with that, right? Hello, Sally. Hello, Susan. Hello. Brenda. Welcome, everybody. Mary Lynn, welcome. We're called in UK. I was actually surprised that Valentine's Day is not the holiday that the most flowers are sent. Uh, Easter? No, it's it's a holiday that, you know, like if you think about it after I'm going to say it, you're going to be like, does anybody okay, know? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's the, about the Mother's Day? That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so it's, not Valentine's Well, I guess people buy chocolates and other things. Well, no, I'm not everybody has a sweetheart, but everybody has a mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. Yes. You look at it that way, right? Yes. Yes. That's great, Mother's, Day. Mother's Day. Day. Yes. Hello, Rose. So, are you going to kick it off today? Uh, do you want me to? Let's put you in the hot seat. Go. <laughs> okay, I can do it then. I mean, if you if you did, do you not want to go first? Well, um, I mean, I just went first. We we just did a pre-recording for you guys for March, right? And so we're in it. 
All right, guys. So as Marlon or I have, um, you get nothing. <laughs> Sally, you need to demand the flowers. I'm not a mother either, but uh, I get flowers myself. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, 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 uh, that's how pathetic that is. No, oh. it's not. I, it's just a, a little flap. Everybody deserves flowers. It's yeah. just that's the day where the most. So, um, so today I'm going to I'll start by making some. So I have here several bags of um, these colors. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm making flowers, okay? So if anyone, do you guys have any guesses what kind of flowers am I gonna be working on? I'm just going to prepare some of the things here, my parchment squares. I'm getting a fantasy flower. <laughs> no, this is an actual real flower I had in the garden and I absolutely, absolutely love them. They usually bloom around June time. It's a it's a very bushy um bushy or no this is these are the colors so you see the, the it's like um it's kind of marbled blue no no pinks some some uh, purplish no i don't think you're gonna get it no i don't see it so we're going to make hydrangeas <laughs> Yes, exactly. So I had actually um, made hydrangea um, cookies years ago, but this is a different, I wanted to actually pipe these. So what I did, I created different pouches with different uh, kind of colors. This is more marble, pink, white, and blue. And as you know, pink and uh, pink and blue will combine, will create like purple-ish. So I wanted to try like... Um, um, see how that would work. So I've got some here and I didn't really care for this one. So then I changed it, to, changed it to blue and white. So I'm going to show you how to make blue and white. I already have some made, but um, just to show you. You so, also want to need a flower nail. I interrupt you, Han. So uh, Melanie, you're asking about the recipes. You can visit Han's blog. I just put it on the screen there. Let me uh, it's right now, there. But now you you really cannot get colored royal icing anywhere, Melanie. You when you make royal icing, it's going to be white. Okay, it's going to be I don't know if you can see specks of like it's going to be white like that, and then you use uh, food color to color it. I'm sure you know that. Sorry if I sound like I don't want to uh, sound that I'm educating you about the, the color, but then you use the gel color to color your royal icing to any color you'd like. Okay, so here is my, my, this is a piping bag that I, you can see this is not really straight, it was more, more marble, so I put some light blue royal icing, this is stiff royal icing into a bowl, and I just very loosely kind of um, mixed in white. Okay, and I've got my bag fitted with, this is a 101 piping tip which is a petal tip. It's great for so many different flowers. So if you're just starting out and don't have any petal tips to make flowers, I would say go with a petal tip, get different sizes. You can use it with buttercream also. It works for roses. You can make uh, uh, different kind of daisies with it. You can make uh, pansy flowers with it. You could even make, um, um, I think sunflowers you could make with it if you use it like different. So not well, yeah, sunflowers. Yeah, you can make it. Well, no, not that sunflower. It, it, it makes well. a great ruffle. Ruffle. You can also make leaves with it, and I'll show you how to do the leaves today also with this Hello, uh, tip. So here is my flower nail, and as you know, or if you don't know, um, hydrangeas are um, four petal flowers. I'm uh, making these tiny so I don't really need a big square, big, parch, big piece of parchment. But um, let me see, I also need just a second. I forgot something. Okay. I also need some white. Now the centers of these flowers, okay, Bake Deco is having a sale 15% off. Excellent, guys. Jump on it. Food color is always good to have. So, now as I said, hydrangea flowers are four petal flowers. I also have a little towel here on hand. 
going to use it to clean the tip. So you want to hold the piping bag. And, and just, just to show you where you are, you're very at the top there. If you want to just go down a little bit. There. Better? Mm -hmm. So that's one pedal. Two pedals. Now making this a, a math class. So four pedals, super easy. Now you can make the center, I don't know, I couldn't make it out. Um, the center of hydrangea flowers, they, they actually vary. I'm doing it white. You can also do a little yellow and then also a little green, or you could also do blue, maybe a slightly different shade of blue. So you want to have the pedal tip. Why the pedal tip? You can see pedal tip is a narrow part and a white part. So you want to have the, the narrow part facing out. That means that the pedal is going to be thin on the outside and then the thick end should be facing in. Now my design, it's using about 10, 10 flowers. You could use more. So you're gonna make, you know, you can make different colors. And here I made a bunch of different colors. I made pink, I also used um, purple and things like that. And this is a stiff consistency because you want the petals to hold its shape. If I was to use runny icing, like here I have, uh, this is, oops, this is about 15 seconds. So if I was to use 15 second consistency, let me just quickly show you. Well, I don't have it in my, in a, in a, in a, but you see like it's, it's kind of blending. You see, it's going to become one block. So if I was to use running icing, this is not going to happen. The pedals are not going to happen. So Angie saying, Angie's saying she's tried and tried and she can't get it right. Catherine also, can you make it as, like, just do one as, can, like, like a pre-K class. I'm sorry? Like a pre-K class, like really the beginner, beginner, like go. Okay, so you see, so the pedal tip, okay. White part, narrow part. I'm holding it like this in my hand. 101. This is a 101. You can use this with any, with any number of different different tips. I'm using it like this. I'm holding it, holding the packing bag like this, okay? Now, depending, like now we are making flowers that petals are flat, kind of flat. So they are almost uh, uh, parallel to the flower, na flower nail. They are not, you know, standing up. It's not a ruffle like this or anything like that. Okay. Well, the other thing that's great, though, is that it's less susceptible to breakage because when you have a very raised petal, your cookie petals, like the icing petals, can really, like, crack off. And you can see, we, we often you often read, like, the angle, right? You hold it at 45-degree angle or something like that. It just refers to the angle. When I'm holding it like this, it refers to the angle between the surface of your flower nail and your piping bag, okay? So this is probably around 45 maybe even less, depending on, like, if you want it to be flatter, you can hold it like that and have it really, really flat. And again, the white part is touching the center, okay? And the narrow part is facing out. So this is the first petal. You can see the narrow part is making the end of the petal really thin, and this is the thick part. So you want the center to be thicker than the outer edge. The movement is basically a C, right? It's a C movement you're doing. Yes, yes. I'm doing it, yes, full C. And I'm piping, and you can see I'm turning the flower nail. The flower nail has a long stem here. It's great to have. If you don't have a flower nail, you can use... Um, um, 
the micro mm -hmm. thermometer? The thermometer, but it can get heavy. If you're doing this for hours and hours, it will get, it will get, um, yes, you can also use a template. You can use templates. I figured with a four pedal, you don't need a template, but you can also use templates that will be handy. I will have the templates um, in my coffee shop, hopefully on Friday. And I've used templates for other, other flowers, um, like sunflowers, or if you are using, uh, if you're making cherry flowers, I do a template for that. Yes, it is important to move the flower nail as you pipe. Yes. What kind of flowers? This is Royal Icing, Brenda. So uh, blockages in a tiny, what do you mean? I don't understand. Oh, it's what? clogging up, Hen. So I think it maybe you have sugar particles in your powdered sugar and you might need to like sift it before you make your um, your icing just to make sure you have no sugar particles in there. Yeah, this is built on one-on-one. -on -one. Now I'm making, I am making these tiny. Okay, I'm not making these big. They are quite tiny, so you can really control how big you want the, the petal to be. Pre-made, oh, well, you could Google that. Look for pre-made royal icing flowers and whatever kind of flower you want. I think, um, what's that company that makes the cake kits? Um, Deco, Deco Pack might have that. It's usually sold at bakery, like for bakeries, that type of pre-made stuff, but they're very expensive pre-made flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to actually jump because we, we all, I don't have much time, so I'm going and to- And don't worry, just take your time. I don't need a lot of time. Yes, so it is. This is, yeah, this is uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this is, Probably one of my favorite shapes also. This is a cupcake shape. It's a universal shape. And I've had some cookies left over. So I decided to use it to make a flower pot. That's yes, the cool. narrow side is on the outside. Okay, let me just, okay, really quickly. So the narrow side, so I think. That, so if you're making a rose, You see how narrow it is on the outside? I'm going to switch it up so that the white part is on the outside. You see the difference? The inside was gonna have narrow. To zoom narrow. In. Hmm? You're going to have to zoom in. Oh. Well. There. Okay. Better. So the inside was made with a narrow part facing out and then the outside pedal was with the white parts facing up. You can see there is a difference. Okay, so you just, I mean, there is, I mean, what are you going, what, what is it going to happen? So if you mess up, you choose, you start over and you, you test it different ways and you'll figure it out at the end how is it supposed to go if you are having trouble with it. Well, Melanie, the recipe is, her blog is right there on the screen. All her recipes are there. Oh, so there is a pre-colored royal icing mix. Okay, so I guess mixes can come pre-colored. -colored. I didn't know that. I've never really used any kind of mixes, so I'm not really aware of what's available there. So this is the cutter that I'm going to be using today to make my flower pot. And I also um, colored my royal icing, which I believe it's similar to terracotta. You can get a food color that is terracotta, but I couldn't find mine, so I just used orange and brown. Yes, you eat the evidence. <laughs> yes, always. By the um, time you've made the, the 20th one, yes. you, you get the hang of it. It's quick that you get the hang of it. Yes, it's pretty quick. And I still like, uh, there, there, there are still times that when I start, I don't like first few flowers and then, you know, and what can sometimes happen that the icing can actually be too, too stiff. I do have some flowers that I, my icing, I think, was a little too stiff. And I'll show you how you can tell. First of all, it's really hard to pipe. And then um, the petals will have a quite a rough edge. Maybe your dough is a little too dry, Rose. 
Maybe you've added too much flour. That's what's coming to mind. Yes. That happened to me last week. I told you about I was making double badges always, and I did everything double but the butter. So I had like six cups of um, flour and only one cup of butter in there. So that wasn't good. So this is 15 seconds. So I'm going to put this aside and we have to let that cross. So I'll just quickly show you the icing that was too stiff. You see the petals are not as nice and smooth. I kind of don't hate it though. Yes, I know. This is like a more of a like a natural look, but just to show you know, this is how you can tell that the icing coming out. See the difference between oh, this? Yes. this one has smoother edge and this is more rough. Okay. So what now, was your count on that um, terracotta? 15. So we're going to have to let that crust and then you can come back. And I'm just going to do a thick. Um... This is a, a very good cutter you've made a basket full of apples with that cutter now you're yes. making a pot. Made ba yeah, basket full of apples now i'm making uh yes i made the halloween stuff with it i like it because of the the shape of the swirl some of the cupcake cutters have a very uh, specific you know design on the top this is a very forgiving I also used it to make a Christmas tree and also I used it to make it make Santa last year. This same cutter. It's a very, very good cutter. I like it because, and it chips well, because if you have a, a swirl that is pointy, that point tends to break. Do you get a different royal icing base from the whisk attachment? I personally use a paddle. Yes, both are being used. Now, that, I guess that's a preference. I personally only use paddle. Although I have used, I suppose that that will be a whisk with my hand held. What I find that the, the it, it's faster with the hand held uh, when I use the beaters. I feel like it's, it's faster, be, it's beaten faster. I don't know. What do you use? Do you use um... I, I use the whisk? Um, the thing is, is it introduces more air, the whisks versus the paddles. And so sometimes like air is important because you want the volume, but it can cause like excessive air bubbles and stuff. So you don't want to over whisk it. So now I'm going to set this aside and this should be dry. Oops, you see a little... Yes, you're, you're roughly petal, the petal that was kind of like you said with the stiff icing, um, Heather's saying it looked like a carnation petal. Okay, yes, yes, that, that could be, yes. So now this is um, dry or should be dry, let's hope, for the best. So and what's the, what's the brand on that cutter? Is it an RM, you think? I think that's an RM. This could be, R, uh, yeah. Um, it's actually in my, I believe it's in my um, Amazon yeah, Amazon shop uh, where I have all the cookie cutters that I really, really love. What's the best food coloring to use for coral icing? Now I let you answer that. You are you you have used uh, several different brands. I personally use Americal brand, Chef Master, and Bilton and Brodel. Um, Really, I think that you know, like uh, Americolor and, and uh, Chef Master and Progel are all, you know, equally uh, qu quality products. The only kind of um, brand that I've had issues with is Wilton. Um, I've had bleeding with their, with their ice, with their uh, food gel. And yeah. also it yeah. seems to like get all yucky in the container. Like it doesn't stay a, a nice consistency after like a short, like it, almost spoils, like it has a short shelf life. It's not my favorite that I'd skip, but um, if you can, um, you know, the chef master. They, have, uh, they have actually have the colors. Um, I don't know what it's called now because they, they came out with a, with a line of food colors that are um, in, a, in small bottles, uh, squeeze bottles. Mm. And those are more, they are, yeah, I, I do like those. And they have certain colors that I like. I wouldn't use the, the red and black. 
and yeah. purple. Like, I wouldn't use those colors from, from that brand, but. And recently I've started using a powdered food color by a drip color. And you guys, if you want to pop in your favorite food color brand, we always love to hear from you guys. Let us know. Um, her Amazon store, if you go and Google and write Haniela's uh, Amazon shop, it'll uh, take you to it. And that's how you spell her, um, her uh, handle. And I think also if you go on her blog, is there a link to your Amazon on your blog? No, but there is a link, direct link in my, um, in my uh, Instagram. Yeah. yeah, if you go into my Instagram, there is a link there, and then there's like a lot of different links to my, uh, to the Amazon store, or also to um, cookie decorating kits that I have available. Thank and you. Very other, much. other links. So now, um, before I, I jump into adding the flowers, I'm going to add the leaf. Now, hydrangea flowers, they have, um, now you could pipe the leaf with flood icing, but I decided, uh, uh, well, it depends on the project, I would say. Um, I guess, it, yes. Keep going. Okay. So like I mentioned, you could make flowers also. Now this is a paper towel or here, I have a parchment here. Yes, she means the color, right? Yeah. And I'm use, using, uh, this is a flower nail, a flower, a panel, a panel tape 101. So that's how you can make a leaf. You could also make these on a on a um, leaf um, flower nail and just let these dry and just pop them um, on your cookies. Yes. Again, the narrow part of the petal tip is facing out, and the white part is facing in. Like the white part is this, and it's facing. You see, it's facing. It's going towards my uh, my arm, and then the narrow part is facing out. And you can make these as long as you want. And this is a technique that you could use also with um, um, with buttercream. Mm -hmm. Mia, if you look on the screen there, there's her blog. She has her recipes there. If you want to check out her recipes, this is, this is pretty stiff also because it's not going anywhere. You see, it's not going down. It's staying where I'm putting it. If it was runny, it wouldn't hold its shape. So you need to make sure that your icing is uh, on a thicker side. It should be pretty thick. It's called drip color, Angie. Okay. What are you adding to the icing? Uh, Mary Jean, are you talking about the texture to the pot that she did? So I just added um, the same icing I used for this section. It was about 20 seconds or so, and I just added that onto the dry icing i brushed it on and then i used a soft round brush to create texture and then i added some white for the highlight and now you just need to determine where you want your leaf so i'm going to turn this down because the flowers are going to be here so i assume the leaf is going to picking up maybe somewhere here or here i just wanted to have some green scenery there now this is your topic i don't think it's the same uh, really, I, I would. I thought it was kind of the same. I mean, it's made with potato starch. They call it rice paper. It's like a. It's it's different than a frosting sheet. It's like it tends to snap when it dries. They get cracked That's like they'll crack. So, I'm going to start piping my 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 leaf on the cookie part, and then I'm going to scrape that off. Okay. So I'm going back and forth. Basically, I'm making kind of like ruffles. I'm going to cut it here. The only thing about this, when you're doing it on a cookie, it's uh, your wrist kind of get a bit of a workout. So if you are suffering with some kind of wrist problem, I would then recommend maybe um, using a traditional leaf tip. Hi, Joseph. Hello, Joseph. I'm going to add another one here, maybe slightly smaller or bigger. 
Let's see. Really, Kim? Well, that's annoying. Have you tried the kitchen sink uh, black for your making your black? Okay. See, June is answering you there, Kim. I remember you did this leaf on some strawberry cookies that looked very nice. Strawberry and also um, this is a leaf um, for the um, fancies. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Fancies, you can use that. I did use slightly smaller pie can tip. I did use 101S which I don't have here with me, of course. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, um, here it is. Do I have 101S? I wanted to show you. Here it is. This is 101S. This is the, I believe this is the smallest of the, smallest of the pedal tips. 101S. Maybe your PME has small. This is Wilton. And I also use these for uh, the leaves and other flowers. But if you're making leaves with this, this is going to produce quite small, you know, they're, they're tiny. So now I'm going to scrape this off. And I'm using, this is, I think Borderlands Bakery has their own brand of these reusable um, cellulose, I think they are made from. So I picked this up at the local store and they are really great. Now we're going to add the flowers. So I've got my flowers here. Hopefully I pick up the ones that didn't decorate right now. So once these are dry, you can just remove them from the parchment. The only um, thing that I don't like when you are adding um, your parchment onto the flower nail, I like to use uh, royal icing. You can use double-sided tape, but it never really like 100% works for me. It's either not too sticky or it's too sticky and then it messes up the flower when I'm trying to remove it. So with that, you're also adding some royal icing on the, on the um, back side there. So you see a little bit of icing here as it dries and you're trying to remove it. It uh, breaks that icing on that side so it makes a little bit of mess, okay? So you have to keep that in mind. So I've got my flowers here. Let me just get some. Okay, I'm gonna add more color to it so we have a little mix. Okay. And now to decorate the bottom, I decided to just use some um, blue and Oh yeah, Mary, um, I think we could uh, test to it that there are so many different leaf tips, right? You have uh, from PME, you've got them, some nice small tips. There are leaf tips, but this is a uh, alternative. If you don't have a leaf tip and you want to create a different, different look, you can use a petal tip. Well, I think another option too, is if you're using two shades of green, you could use, like do a variety of leaves if you're doing a bouquet, right? Like that's pretty too. Yeah. Yes. And if you don't have either, you can always cut a um, V shape into, yes, into a piping bag. Yeah. You've done that. I've done that. I love doing that. Especially since I don't have a super small leaf tip like Mar has. PME makes a really small, if you want a piping tip that's very small for leaf. Um, I don't want to add too, too much icing because as we are going to add some weight on this, the flowers can, uh, the icing, because it's fluid, it can kind of fall off. How do I know that? Because it happened. So if you add too much and then you pile, pile all your flowers on there, I think cause problems. So now I'm just going to, this is just be, going to be a background. Most of this is going to be covered, but in case some of it is peeking out, I wanted to have some floral design in there. Oh, Kim, uh, June is answering you with regards to that um, black food color. He's saying to put it in a bowl with a bit of water to activate it.
Now, when we talk about small bowls, I love using silicone bowls. No, don't you think like they come in such? You just got things? some on yeah. the weekend. <laughs> well, what, what, when did you get them? I went to the winners and they had these little, a little set of six of these little ones. They look like cupcake liners and they um, are for snacks, like dip on, it said it's like for dip and stuff on your plate, you know, but they were perfect. So I picked them up and I like the little silicone for, for the cookies. This one is going to sink in a little bit there, I'm just kind of hiding the leaf. And I'm just very gently pressing them in. I'm not really like, I'm not even like doing anything because the weight of it, it's going to. So when did you make the flowers yesterday? No, today. Oh, this morning? Okay. Yes. They're already that dry? Yes. Did you put them in anything or they just air dried? No, they're just, they're very thin. You'll see how thin they are. So they are not, these are not, um, like, roses may take a little longer, but. Yeah, um, they have more uh, juiciness in the middle, right? The rose. Yes. Yes. <laughs> juiciness. <laughs> so this, this, this could be it. I wouldn't add any more. Now, if you wanted to really, like, I would, I would let it dry and then maybe add some uh, leaf detail mm -hmm. but i don't think you have to if you are in a in a in a hurry let me just get one more here because this flower is going to eventually sink in so i'm just going to add one more on top here yeah i just have to add a little more icing on the back okay oops oops so if you wanted to make a large batch of cookies with this, well, you just do a few flowers every night, a little, you know, and then you could get them done. But they really don't take, I mean, it's very real. I find flower making very relaxing, I have to say. It's a very, it's just time just flows. And if you have a good music in the background, it's really, um, you know. And this is one that dried and I overloaded this one with, um, with icing. So, so, this this flower actually fell off because it's it kind of became like a lava, you know, oh. or a river. Because if you add too much, so you want to kind of stay away from it. Plus, if you add too too much, then there is too much icing. You have all these flowers, so kind of a little proportion doesn't hurt anyone. So um, that's my project for today. So I don't oh, know. Should, I, should I add some green here? Maybe maybe I'll add a few more leaves here later. You see, this is when the coupler comes in somewhat handy because then you can kind of come in and switch out your tip if you want to do the, because the leaf tip does work well to insert little. Yes, the, the leaf tip, yeah, that's why I was thinking like if you wanted to, um, because ideally you want to place the flowers on the wet icing because I find like it creates more of a, like a more realistic look. So you could make some of these beforehand. Mm and have them dry and then insert them in because if you're doing doing it um with uh, the petal tip like mari is saying you can't really insert the petal tip i mean it's it's kind of very difficult right so the leaf tip traditional leaf tip has a point so you're able to insert that in and create the leaf yeah it's just a, a little bit like easier kind of for that particular yeah. time. and i do have a honey bun i actually do have a coupler here oh look at you <laughs> i just realized oh let me get back at her oh, okay <laughs> what's the size of that cutter is it three and a half something like it's, that it's, um i would say it's about three and a half yes yeah it's about. a good size it's not like one of those giant cookies but it's this um, is, um hold on this is this is nine in, not nine inches. This is nine nine centimeters across and eight. So it's an overall what three and a half, I think, or something around there, maybe. Yes. Hello, Chantal. So <laughs> yes, I I, I felt organized today, June. I have to say. <laughs> Hi, Gwen. Hello, hello. Okay, so guys, so yes. Now it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to remove myself and do a little camera dance here. So okay. yesterday, guys, I um 
got my third shot. So today I will confess I'm mediocre feeling today. So I'm keeping it simple and um, I'm just going to, of course, my camera's going to give me a problem. Of course. Look at this. Why is it doing that? Oh, I think you need to remove yourself and come back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, remove the camera and then come back. All right, let's see. Oh, let me turn this off. Yeah, so yesterday I went and got my third shot, and I had gotten Pfizer. They gave me Moderna yesterday, and today just everything hurts. I didn't have a good sleep because my arm obviously is very sore. So I, today, uh, I don't need to be on a big screen. Audio. I'm going to get there, guys. Okay, so... Those of you who are just joining us, I just finished making, um, let me just quickly show you these cookies. These are hydrangea uh, cookies in a flower pot and I used a cupcake cutter and now Mar is back. Excellent. Now we'll just, uh, it's a little out of zoom. Yeah, that's what I'm fixing. Okay. Okay. No, it's still not right. Hold on. That looks okay. You yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty sharp. Just, oh. Hey, is it blurry? It's me, eh? It's, it's a little blurry. I, yeah, you, I can tell by the rolling pin and the your phone down tool. It's Let's go with the autofocus. Hmm. Why is it? Why, why, why? Things cannot be easy. Never. So that think... is Mari just trying to figure out her her situation with the camera. She she's going does to, it on its own. She's going to decorate um, or show you how to do some. Oh, oh, Valentine's Day cookies. Oh, this and is you can cool. always watch previous lives in our. Now I would say it's an excessive gallery of lives because this is going to be. We are. We started. Can you believe it? it's going to be two years? We started two years ago, I think in April, at the beginning of the big uh, pandemic. Yeah. For two years we've been we've been at it, and last year we've been doing lives every week twice. So we have a live on Tuesday and also on Friday. And this Friday, Amber of Sweetems is joining us. She'll be back uh, for she'll be back on uh, for on Friday. That I think it's January twenty eighth, if I am correct. So uh, you can guys join us at our usual time at 1 p.m. Eastern time, which yeah. is a New York time. And I don't know where you guys, what time is it where you are, where you guys are watching? So I'm going to, I'm going to muscle through. So listen, guys, today I, I, first of all, I got this stuff at AliExpress. So there's no way you're going to get it in time if you were to order it. But I had shown at Christmas and Halloween some fondant, um, these are like embossing plates. Why is this a problem today? Anyway, and so I had gotten these embossing plates and they are coming for almost any occasion. And so this is Valentine's Day, but a lot of them would work also for a wedding. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, this would, this would definitely That's work. Fine. For a wedding and Mother's Day also. I don't see, like we can, we can see, we can see what the, it says love. It was a little better it's before. Annoying me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Oh, there. Maybe that's not too bad. Anyway, so it's yes. That's right. That is correct. It <laughs> is <laughs> yes. You you absolutely got it. <laughs> so the thing about these uh, embossing plaques, they a lot of them come with a matching cutter to go with it. The Cupid did not but the love does. And they have a few different actual like bridal ones. Like, I don't even know what's happening right now. But anyway. Oh, so because I was asking him, where I was trying to. Uh, did you so the thing you want to think about is obviously when you're cutting the fawn, it has to fit perfectly on the cookie. And I, I'm sorry, guys, for my focus issues. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 a different <laughs> Every every week it has to be a different thing, you know? And so you want to have a cookie that doesn't expand too much so that you have a good fit 
with your fondant because obviously the fondant is not going to expand, right? And so here for this one, I use, a, actually I use a little cookie cutter to imp, like do a little impression of the heart there, if you can see would it, it. I'm sorry, would it be that the, it's the setting that you used for the, that it's being... Oh, you could be very correct. That could be very, you could be not that. Ah, yes, <laughs> oh, finally, I had a light. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was going crazy. Good, good. I'm, glad, you. I'm glad that it worked. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Han. Okay, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm like, what is wrong with me? So there that it is. Okay, now you can see it. So there. I apologize, guys. Um, so yeah, so you're using the plex. So let's make a cookie. Enough rambling. I'm like, so yeah. Yesterday I went and did that. I got my third shot, and today, well, my my. Well, now you're food. feeling a little better now because it's it's in focus. <laughs> yes, I think that is correct. Yes. Yeah, we are a good team. Me and Han have been friends now for so many years. Like we we just um, kind of sometimes even like finish each other's. Um, craziness i want to say <laughs> yes you know i mean I, i'm gonna she's younger than me but i'm gonna be 50 this year and i have to say it's nice to have and i'm sure it, oops, many of you have this friend that you can be ridiculous with because yes, even though, we can we can we can we we call and we work and we don't talk because that's awesome, no? I think you know what I mean. Like we, we will sometimes we'll we'll call and then we get busy working, but we are still on the call. Yes. So okay, let's get to yes. business. So this fondant, okay. you don't want a fondant that's very sticky because it's going to be very hard to get it out of the of the. Hold um, on. Did you say you want a fondant that is very sticky? No, not sticky. Okay, so not sticky. You don't want a. Okay. Yeah, even like a fondant that's a bit old. Like when I say that, I don't mean like stuff you you know. Uh, but like not super fresh, you know, because it tends to be even more, I find, uh, difficult to pull out of there. It's even better like the not so fresh fondant when you're making um, fondant decorations and things like that. So now I see that it didn't stick. It's actually jumping out and, and, and buckling in the mold. And you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. You see, it did an ugly impression. So it can be. So is there a way to age fondant without aging it to the point where you can eat it? I think if you just like air it a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, like. So it just, like loses, loses some of the moisture and it's more like. Yeah, a little bit. Like so that it's not so, so, so fresh mm -hmm. because then it's like so sticky. And some brands are actually stickier than others. My favorite brand is Satin Ice. I find that it's not so 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 sticky so i'm using these uh, these are rolling guides and i'm using the thicker like ones they're the thickness of the actual like embossing zoom, zoom, like zoom out a little bit yes fantastic and then you. i'm using my thin one to get the fondant thickness and i see you also have uh, your canada cornstarch i do have my cornstarch there and that just helps you use sometimes. Corn, yeah, cornstarch with fondant, right? You use it yeah. too, so it doesn't stick. And solid. you can see there it popped right out. And then you use the same cutter that you use for the, um, the cookie. Now, you don't have to buy the embossing clock. You can just buy the cookie cutter. The cutters are dirt cheap. I mean, like $2. And you could, you know, make a love cookie, which is always cute to have with different, you know, if you're doing the bridal stuff or whatever. And then here's the cookie, and I just add water to the back of the fondant to stick yeah, it. There was a question: How to add fondant? How do you? Yes, Heather. How do you add your fondant to the cookie? So, Marlon is using just the water, right? Yeah, I just use water because it like activates the sugar in the fondant, and then I just kind of put it on, and it it sticks plenty. I don't. I there don't is do asking between fondant and royal icing, which one is the best to decorate the cookies with? Well, I would say that it's all depending on your skill level and, and willingness to, um, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want, like, fondant, 
you know, you're going to get a lot of molds. You need a lot of molds. Like if you, if you look up, there are creators on Instagram, you'll see the fun and cookies. Like you need molds for everything. They have molds for the flowers, the leaves, the borders, like Lovely. everything. Yes. Everything, everything. Whereas with Royal Icing, well, everything comes out of your piping tip. You're doing the border with your piping tips. You're doing the flowers. You don't need all these molds. So it's a different. Until, until you get an airbrush, then you're going to get like stencils and different stencils yes, and more stencils and stencil cutting machine. So I compare fondant decoration to card making like as a craft, you know, like it's more kind of using tools. Whereas the Royal icing, you're more like drawing and it's more, yeah. um, it was, it, it's thick, Mary Jean. It's thick. It's, it's not what I would normally do, but right now I'm in the live and I'm just kind of doing it. <laughs> I think I would, I would say fondant. Like if you have, if you're struggling with piping, meaning like if you have pain, if you really like your health, like your health is not allowing you to pipe, fondant would be a good option. I find it fast to, to, to create the, the base. Because you're just rolling it out, you're cutting it out, and you don't have to flat, you know. Yeah, it's. it's I've it's, seen people use combination. You can also yeah. make fonda decorations to put on a top. So it's. I like to use like fonda to make little bows, to make little flowers. But depending on your climate, the fonda decorations. I got a hair in it from my my brush there for the corn stuff. Um, it can um, it can melt. Yes, I do agree that you need steady hand. With, but like I said, like it really depends on what you prefer. You know, like some people don't like, they hate the taste of, I mean, I don't like to use the word hate, but they dislike the, the taste of fondant. So then they go with relaxing because they can flavor it any way you want, what they want. But nowadays fondant comes in so many different flavors and you can make your own also. And some um, people hate royal icing. So yeah, people have yeah. So it's taste of royal icing. I think it could also like I think like if you are in a pinch, you can create really uh, fast like cookies fast with with fondant. You could do some marble fondant, which would be really neat. I should do that. The like, thing that happens though, cut it out. Um, the thing that happens when you color your fondant, your scraps are tougher to use. They're tougher to use. Yes. So I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see. Look at that impression these plaques do. Oh, beautiful. It beautiful. really, so now I can look with my heart cutter. Here, let me get just, so I can kind of align the cupid in there. And I like to work on a silicone mat when I work in fondant because then I can pick it up at, to get it off. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it just gets like really stuck to your work surface. So this way I can kind of like make sure, you know. And so we, here I'm just using a cookie cutter, but the, not the cutting side. I'm using the, um, the. Um, oh, I see the, the, head, the not so sharp, the dull side. Yeah, exactly. And it gives a fatter kind of thing. And then I got these here. This is like a little uh, in, like letter press thing. And then you can kind of add, like you can add. A name, but I just wrote love. That is so cute. And so you can do all this before you put on the cookie in case you screw up. Because at this point, if you screw up, well, you could just re-roll it. Yes. That you, a, yes. But you want to attach it to the cookie before it starts drying because your cookie can sometimes not be super flat. And so if this has started drying and then you want to attach it to your cookie, well, when you put on the cookie, you could actually get cracks in it. Mm -hmm. Bye, Julie. Bye, Julie. Now, uh, Ashley, do you do you pre-purchase your fonda or do you have a recipe you can share? I mean, you like to use satin ice. There are so many different uh, brands. Maybe, folks, if you use fonda more frequently on cookies and you love it for whatever reason, maybe you can put it in the comments. I make marshmallow fonda. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've, I've been making that. The recipe is on the blog. You can make a small batch and try it. It just, it comes together really, really quickly, but it doesn't behave as satinized. I think satinized is really nice for stamping, like Maris. You, so have, now, to, you have to let it air. This is stuff. like an edge thing. So I'm just using it to kind of like press oh, down. This, is, this is used in cakes, folks. This yes. Tool. And these are these are tools like these little fondant. Uh, they they're sold. They cost nothing. Get like 
10 or 12 tools on AliExpress, really affordable. Those letters again, like $2 or I think maybe even 80 cents. Oh, Heather, you don't like to use fondant, okay. <laughs> well, the point is just to show you guys some ideas. If you don't like it, it's fine. No, 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 in regards to my word hate. Oh, hate, you know? So now I'm just, you can, you see, like you can, and then and you can. Fondant is probably also more kid friendly because they can oh, yeah. get, get in and they quickly do it. You know how kids are, their attention span is like five seconds. So this will give them beautiful. So now, you could then maybe you could airbrush the edges we think you could and then what you need this to kind of crust over now this is probably there's some markers if you look at the tip it's like fatter this is a mirror color and this is more like a paintbrush and you see i've got it kind of on the side and i'm using that to color the words so how long would you say you let it uh, air dry well now not long but normally you'd want because you don't want the fondant to get dented as you're coloring it. So that's oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, I agree. I yeah, I too make uh, marshmallow fondant, and I make a small badge and makes just enough to do a few things, and I do like it quite a bit. And if I need to, I make a quick gum paste out of it. Well, as a person, it. like for me, like if I'm making cookies for for an occasion myself, I'm for sure going to use royal icing. But I try, as Han does too, to show you guys different things and to show you what's out there, what's available, so that you guys can be informed and know maybe maybe royal icing isn't working for you. You're frustrated. You're looking for an alternative. This is an alternative. And that's all we're trying to do is show you guys some, some options out there that exist so that you can have a successful and enjoyable. This is totally a wedding. Like if this is a you know, wedding. It's such a universal and so here, this one, this one here is a bit drier. And then I have these, these paint brushes that are like, this is the drip color and you can come in, you see, and, and do them. We do have a nice question here. And I have to say that you are watching the inventor of paint your own cookies. Marlon has, she had, she invented the paint your own cookie, right? Yes, that's actually, I invented that my gosh, invented it years ago and uh, now everybody's doing it. Businesses are doing it. Mm -hmm. So she has a lot of tutorials on the subject, how to, how to, you know, they are several years old, right? They're, I don't yes. know if you have, do you have them in your Amazon or uh, Amazon, YouTube? No, they're or? on YouTube. Here I can see my paintbrush is actually denting the fondant. So you really have to wait a couple of hours for this. And I'm just wanting to do the, the little overlap. So the, Brenda is asking, where did you purchase the fondant stencil? These here, these, these embossing plaques are from uh, AliExpress. If you buy them locally, like the there's some on Etsy, they're crazy expensive. So if you want to stock up and get a few of them, like AliExpress is the more affordable route. I don't know if they're manufactured, the ones on Etsy in uh, North America, but a lot of the tools, they're sold by American stores, but they're all purchased from China and marked up. So most of the stuff, like, I mean, I remember at some point somebody said, oh, the airbrush was made in, uh, made in the USA, but really the parts were all Chinese. And then in the States, they put it in a box. It's not made in America when yeah, it's assembled. Here, they have to... They have to actually, by law, state that it wasn't that it was assembled somewhere. It has to stay. I believe that it, right. it does. It does. It does here, uh, like in the United States as well. But the language is very uh, tricky. It's like uh, it's it's another yeah, phrase. Like mm -hmm. Yes, my claim to fame. So that's it. So it's just a different decorating option. In the, if you want to look back at the previous lives, I did a Christmas version where I used um, the airbrush to color it and everything. So you can see how to color them if you want to color them. But I do like using the airbrush because then I don't have little clumps of leftover. Because, you know, yeah. you have all these little clumps of leftover, different colored fondant, which to me always ends up in the garbage at the end of the right? Because it's like, oh, when am yeah, I going to use yeah, this? You, yeah, if you, yeah, you let it 
tries, it gets hard, and it's yeah. Sometimes when uh, when it gets too like when it gets hard, I will microwave it. Oh yes, that's normal. I just want to say quickly because I don't I didn't want you to know that I didn't I didn't want you to think I didn't acknowledge your comment. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Yes, you can use a stencil. We found that absolutely. Yeah, and you can. There's a lot of different things. Like there's embossing, like just for the background to have a texture. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a cookie. I'm not laughing because I'm laughing because it's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's build one. Maybe, maybe guys, if it snows a lot, maybe you can. Oh it. yes, that's a good oh, idea. That's that's a good idea. Awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> I would love that. Does the fondant stay soft on a cookie? I would. You know, I mean, it stays as. It, 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 I can, you know, like fondant, probably it's softer than dry icing. Sorry, I'm talking over you. No, it's fine. <laughs> I said, I said it's probably softer than dry royal icing. Yes, I, I would. Yeah, I, I absolutely, absolutely. I think absolutely. Unless obviously you leave, you know, in a mount it will be dry, but I think it's a lot softer. I, I don't know. Have I done it for a live? You have done it for a live, but we are, you, I think, who wants to see paint your own cookie live, cookie decorating with Mar? Please give us a thumbs up <laughs> or I don't know, high five, whatever in the comments. <laughs> so I think, I think you'll have to make another one. I think Easter would be Thanks, great. Angie. Easter, you need to make one for, I should make one. <laughs> I've never made one. You want to show me how you do it, then I'll, I'll join you. During the I live. actually have a kit in Global Belly for Easter eggs for the, the painting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, so for those of you who don't know what Global Belly is, because we did mention Global Belly a few times during today's live, Global Belly is a site where we have our own shops, and you can put... Um, you can put Global Belly Montreal Confections or Global Belly Hanielas and our shops will come up and each of us has different cookie, cookie decorating kits. They come up, they come up with everything uh, that you need to create your cookies. So Mar has Easter is coming up and I also have some Easter stuff there. So one of your Easter ones is the paint your own cookie. Yeah, that's one of them. So it has like a, maybe you can do that in next slide. Maybe you can do that one, the exact one that you have in the global belly, and then um, guys can, you know, that particular kit. Just because uh, it's for people that don't decorate, it comes with markers, so you can just color instead of making the paint palette. That kit comes with markers, so it's a um, kind of a mess-free activity for Easter. How did we meet? Do I really want to expose that story? Well, it's not really top secret. You can tell it. We're over time, but for anybody who wants to hear, go ahead. I mean, it, was very, it was very dramatic. No, you don't remember. Well, I remember that, you know, yes, there was. So, but before we that. Flickr. Flickr, Flickr, I think it, Flickr still exists. Flickr was like a, like a grandfather or, or, you know, great grandfather of Instagram. And um, so we met on Flickr in one of the, the one of the groups. We were just you know communicating with with each other by liking pictures and stuff, right? So it's it was basically like there you could post just like on Instagram your creation. So the people who were making cookies were posting their photos, and and inevitably you're looking for that, and so yes. meet the people that are doing what you're doing, and it's kind of an interesting way to meet people and make friends, and so. And but yeah, there are also different groups, like the groups that we, you know, we were, I guess, in a group, and we just connected that way, and then you wrote me a lovely, lovely note, and yeah. Uh, yeah. We like, 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 not to get into the details, but like most online groups, there was some drama. <laughs> there was some drama, yes, and yes, I was a bit bullied, and she emailed me, and it was that's how it kind of. Yes. We, we, I mean, I don't think we communicated right off then, but we, I don't know, you then reached out to me, and. Yeah, that's again. it, and I mean, it's difficult. It's difficult to make friends yeah. in person. So it's hard online too. I think 2008 it was, 2008 when we first connected and then uh, later 2013 or 12 and rest. And we have physically met. We have physically met in yes. person. Yes. Yes. The, we have met yeah, in person. Okay. I have a proof on Instagram. Go look for yes. the picture. <laughs> That's the story. And so, yeah, and we talk almost every day. 
Yes. Pretty much. So that's it, guys. Very exciting stuff. So we are going to be back again. We'll be back on Friday. Yes, we we are no drama. But coffee <laughs> and coffee is not the same. No, coffee, no. digital purchases, coffee are physical products. So that's the difference. Disposable, I think they'd be the same. I don't think it's the difference between, uh, yeah. Yes, life is already complicated enough. Let's keep it simple. Yes. That's how I like it. Yes, that's it. <laughs> so thanks everybody for joining us today. We'll be back on Tuesday again. Friday, darling. Friday. Oh, Friday. 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 Tuesday, you, it's fine. You're excused. It's Tuesday, although everybody wishes it was Friday, right, guys? So we'll be back on Friday. Amber of Sweden is also going to join us. So don't forget to mark your calendars at, at, at clock, whatever, however you are getting notified. 1 p.m. Eastern time, New York time, we'll be back on YouTube and Facebook. I blame it. I blame it on my vaccine. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.